Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So today we're in a familiar location here. I'm in my buddy Raleigh's garage. Behind us is his 1993 Mustang GT. And we're going to be doing something pretty cool to this car today. We're actually going to be installing a Holley Terminator X. Now this car has a good amount of modifications done to it. It is naturally aspirated and um, we kind of kind of give you guys a backstory on what's going on. So we actually did a pretty lengthy build series. I think it lasted about nine, maybe 10 episodes. And we did a good amount of work to this car. We pretty much touched almost everything, especially uh, the engine bay is where we put most of our labor. And um, it turned out extremely nice. And we also redid the trim and we uh, cleaned up the brakes and stuff along those lines. And um, we originally were going to do a Microsport ECU on it because that's what I was running in my car at the time. It's where I had most of my knowledge for tuning and uh, standalone ECUs. Well, uh, a lot of time has come and gone. Mm -hmm. A and couple of years. A couple of years, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And plans have changed. I have some life changes happen and stuff like that. It's not an excuse. It's kind of my fault for not getting my, my lazy butt out here to do this. <laughs> but um, the Holly system came along and I ended up putting a that system on my car and super sold on how nice that system is. A little bit more involved in the, regards to the installation because it comes with a brand new wiring harness and stuff along those lines here. Well, Raleigh went ahead and decided to pick up a Terminator X system as well. And to kind of keep on along the same theme, I guess you can say, um, back if you guys watched that build series, and there'll be a link uh, up here in a little card and also in the description, I think you guys should check out that build series and see kind of how far along this car has come. And now we're kind of coming back full circle to kind of, uh, I guess, finish it up a little bit. This car being a 93, there's going to be a little bit of a difference in regards to the uh, fuel pump relay. And that's where in normal Fox bodies at a 92, 93, that relay is located on the passenger side in the actual engine bay. So we're going to cover that in a little bit of detail, but in regards to everything else, we're pretty much just going to kind of get down and dirty on this thing. We're just going to get, um, get a little bit of coolant drained, remove the upper intake, start pulling out all the factory wiring and get this thing pretty much ready to go for the Terminator X. And uh, that's pretty much it. So um, it's gonna be kind of bittersweet to kind of just kind of end this project here by getting it up and running again. Right. Um, you, you did say that you did have driven this car a little bit, but you're not happy with the performance of it. No, no. Uh, this Just this past summer I drove it a little bit, but I don't know if it's, it's missing or it still has the same fuel pressure issue. I think, I don't know if we ever covered that in the previous build series. We might have. We yeah, might I don't have. It's been Again, it's been years. two I years. I, yeah, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things where when I drove it, it drove, you could drive it, but it just, it wasn't happy. So it, it's going to be nice to actually get it all done and wrapped up. It is a little bittersweet though, because there's really nothing else you could do to this car. Yeah, besides Once doing a power rider down the road. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much everything I would ever want. Uh, you know, brakes, suspension, wheels, interior. I mean, everything is going to be good to go, so. Absolutely. And I'm not going to buy another one because I'm not going to All right, sounds good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the installation here. Again, it's not going to be a full on how to. Some great videos out there that are pretty much universal for all Fox bodies. We'll cover a couple of the differences and stuff like that. Also, the, the battery for this car is located in the trunk, so I'll give you guys some tips on regards to how to kind of route some wires and stuff along those lines and where you should be making your connections uh, for all the additional wires, the loose wires from the Holly kit. So, uh, I say, with all that being said, you ready to get tackled on this job? I'm ready to go. All right, let's get to work.
All right, guys, just a break in the action here just to show you what exactly we needed from the factory harness to, one, make all the factory gauges work, uh, even saving the airbag harness, that way that still connects, and also the factory fuel pump relay. So, the brown connector that connects to the body harness here, you just need to save these four wires. Essentially, what all this is is your water temp, oil pressure, and uh, coil slash tack. So, usually you can just trace the colors down so our red and green here is our power to the coil. The tan wire here is gonna also has a splice in it that we're gonna use because the Holly harness has a loose white wire off the TFI module harness and that's where you get your tack signal. And also it goes to the tack signal to the factory tachometer in the car. And of course our white and red stripe and red and white stripe that's our oil pressure and water temp sensor so it's just those four wires that we save to be able to f plug it into the factory connector therefore it's serviceable if we ever need to unplug it it's much much simpler and so we've got these messes here that we here's the we saved the connectors here for our water temp and oil pressure so we're just learning to splice those back into this plug so it's much cleaner we'll wrap this up make it look good and of course we got uh, extra wire here to tap into um, the aftermarket tack that goes to the car and also the connector, the splice here to go to the holly. So that's all you need for this side to keep this plug active. Get that mess off to the side. For the factory airbags, Ford and the Infinite Wisdom wound these two connectors. It goes to the gray connector inside the car. So you literally have to unravel all the tape, all the loom, and therefore you can just unravel this without cutting any wires, and therefore you have your connections for going back into the car for your airbag harness to work. Okay, so we're making good progress here. We actually got the whole front end uh, pretty much done. Got the intake manifold back on, everything's plugged in. Now we're moving on to the interior here to get the wiring done. So let's take a peek at uh, what wiring's left to do. Okay, so as you can see, got the Terminator X kind of just lying in there right now. We got to source some hardware because unfortunately, uh, Holly doesn't include any hardware to bolt the ECU to this main bracket here. But uh, yeah, we just got a few loose wires left to, to put in. But here's our airline. We got that run and back to the intake manifold. It'll connect to the onboard one bar. Here's the fuel pump trigger wire that we got to kind of figure out how we're going to do that still. But the other wires are pretty simple. Constant 12 volt power for the fuel pump. This is going to run back to the battery. Chassis ground, which is uh, just going to go to the ECU, factory ECU ground. And then we got our switched 12 volt wire, which will run that over to the fuse box. So don't got much left here. Everything up front is done. So um, go ahead and start wiring up some things. Going to run the power harness all the way to the back along with the wires we need to go back there. And it's pretty much it. So yeah, we're getting close. All right, it's actually the next day here. We went ahead and decided to call it quits. We were getting a little tired and get, kind of running out of gas. So we decided to, instead of just pushing ourselves, went ahead and just called it quits. And we actually got a lot of work done yesterday. Uh, I'd say yesterday was a pretty successful day. We actually got the whole Terminator X system installed with the exception of one wire, and that was the fuel pump trigger wire from the Holly. And something I wanted to kind of bring up here is in regards to 92, 93 cars that have their fuel pump relay in the factory EEC harness. You do get rid of those going with this system because it ditches the entire wiring harness altogether. And there's been a little bit of discussion here and there in regards to um, where you should run that trigger wire. Some people add an additional relay and just have that power output going to the fuel pump from the Holly. Or we, what we decided to do was actually tap this wire into the factory uh, green plug harness that's located in the kick panel here. And we went ahead and tested it, flipped the key on, fuel pump prime. So um, I think what the main co uh, concern is for people is if you have a high drawing, high amperage fuel pump, it could have actually have a little too much uh, draw and it could actually cause issues with the Holly. But this being naturally aspirated, having a simple intake fuel pump that's a low amperage, um, it should be perfectly fine. Uh, for this setup here but it actually makes the install of this last wire pretty simple i'll go and show you guys that here real quick okay and here's the harness i'm referring to this green plug is actually located in the kick panel and as you can see we just snipped off all the additional wires we're going to go ahead and tape this up and everything could deep pin it and stuff like that but we just wanted to make sure this would work so this one wire here this is the holly wire you see a little bit of the end 
of the green with the yellow tracer wire. It's a pretty good size wire. This actually is the wire that runs all the way back to the inertia switch. And once the inertia switch has power, it'll allow power to run to the fuel pump, therefore activating everything once the key is in the on position. So the unique thing about this is that uh, there's actually two wires coming out of this pin spot. One of them runs from the EEC harness and the other one runs from this connector all the way back to the inertia switch. So therefore, it actually makes everything work. We'll go ahead and bundle this all back up. So if you have a low, um, if you don't have a very high demanding fuel system, you should be able to run it to this plug, no problem. So for 92, 93 owners, you should be able to run this wire, this holly, solid green to this uh, solid green with the yellow tracer wire in this green plug, still making it serviceable. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start finishing and buttoning everything up. Go ahead and clean up some of these wires, put the seat back in, and pretty much get this thing ready to fire for the first time. All right, it's the moment of truth. Got everything hooked up and got the power back to the car and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up, get the fuel pressure set, see if it starts and runs. All right, go ahead and turn it around. Climb it again or? Nope, go ahead and start it. Terminator X installation. Uh, we got it done pretty darn quick. Uh, we found all the little gremlins that we thought we were going to have to chase down. Got those done and the car actually runs and idles. And now it's kind of like the little things here and there. As you can see the car's still up on jack stands. Got to put the inner fender splash shields back in. Put the wheels back on. Top off coolant and stuff along those lines. But yeah man, we got it done. Car runs and idles. No vacuum leaks. Fuel, fuel pressure. Yep, yep. Fuel pressure issues fixed. Yep. yep. Exhaust leaks are fixed because those those headers, man, you can see the like the bow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was bad. Yeah, I think what did you call it? Raleigh cheap out edition? I did. <laughs> but it's just, uh, it, it just goes to show where you cheap out in the beginning, you have to spend the, the good money in the end anyway, so you end up spending more. So yeah. So what you guys didn't see off camera, we actually installed a brand new exhaust all the way through from header to tailpipe. And since the car was already up on jack stands, and we just installed and how many miles do you think you put on this car since we installed that old exhaust? Five? Yeah, so <laughs> nothing was seized. We got that knocked out pretty quick, so there was no point in filming that. But we did knock that out, put a nice uh, Flowmaster cap back on it, and um, uh, at the time you could still buy the SVE mid pipe and um, some BBK ceramic coated headers. So sounds good. It actually starts up and idles pretty decent. Got to do some fine tuning here and there, but. Uh, yeah, so now it's on to those little things, but like I said, uh, got a couple things to wrap it up, get it back on the ground before we can go start driving it and tuning it, but that's pretty much gonna be it. So after doing this installation, you know, we were gonna do a micro squirt, which have been a lot simpler, but all in all, the installation really didn't throw us any big loops besides the fuel pump wire. Fuel pump wire, <clears throat> yeah. that was it. Which Donnie actually did have figured out right off the bat, but <laughs> we decided not to go that route, but then yeah, it all worked out in the end. So. Yeah. Uh, with with the way we ran the fuel pump wire and stuff with the holly, the fuel pump inertia switch is actually still intact. So, in case of anything catastrophic, you know that should still be able to be functional. But uh, yeah, so it's on to uh, bigger and better things in tuning this thing. Maybe at one point we'll get back to the dyno at Anderson to see what kind of power it makes now that's getting proper fuel. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. wasn't too bad. So. Guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I'm going to add this to the list of the little build that we've done so far on this car. Yeah, we pretty much got this thing right where it needs to be so we can start tuning it and 
uh, really enjoy this thing. So actually drive it. Exactly, exactly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any new content coming to the channel. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.